man was physically assaulted and nearly arrested by police in the front yard of his own home in Dasmariñas Village in Makati City Sunday, April 26. Javier Salvador Para was told by his house helper Makati police were outside his home to fine him 1,000 pesos. He was being fined because his helper was not wearing a face mask while watering the plants in their front yard. Para confronted the policemen to question why they were enforcing the face mask rule in his private property. In a video captured by the law enforcers, Para was seen cursing at them and asking them to leave his property. So what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm in my house now. Get out of my house, go yeah. In a video taken by Para's wife, recorded towards the end of the incident, the cop is seen arresting Para by tackling him to the ground. It's life! It's life-threatening, Kuya! Please! Para is now preparing to sue the police for alleged abuse. No law or regulation states that residents must wear face masks in their private property to prevent the spread of the novel coronavirus. Residents of Dasmarinas Village say they support the government's lockdown rules, but stress their right to be secure in their homes. Makati Mayor Abi Binay orders the city police to investigate the incident, vowing charges will be filed against those found accountable. Vice President Lenny Robredo, for her part, urges the police not to resort to violence when implementing the rules of the lockdown. She says there really are hard-headed people, but the police should be more compassionate, all should have flexibility. Meantime, Winston Ragos, the former military man suffering from a mental illness, shot dead by police for breaking quarantine, was laid to rest and given a hero's burial at the Libingan ng mga bayani on Sunday, April 26. The Labor Department is working to have a Filipina caregiver deported from Taiwan for posts criticizing President Rodrigo Duterte. Labor attaché Fidel Macauyag in a statement said Elanel Egot Ordidor, employed in Yunlin County, Taiwan, attempted to discredit and malign President Rodrigo Duterte and destabilize the government. In a meeting with representatives from the Philippine Overseas Labor Office, Ordidor supposedly said she would delete the videos and even promised to post an apology. Instead, Makauya claims several so-called fake accounts posted messages sympathetic and supportive of Ordidor on the Polo Taichung Facebook page. Philippine labor officials in Taichung then asked Ordidor's employer to have her deported. The Duterte administration has been sensitive to criticisms on its handling of the lockdown, with the National Bureau of Investigation summoning several people critical of the president. Former tourism chief Bon Jimenez dies Monday, April 27. He was 64. Jimenez, a marketing communication expert, is considered as one of the pillars of the Philippine advertising industry. The slogan, It's More Fun in the Philippines, was launched during his time as tourism chief in the Aquino administration. The campaign was brought to the global stage in 2012, won several awards in the past years, and is still used today. Under Jimenez's leadership, Philippines' tourism competitiveness rank improved from 94 in 2011 to 74 in 2015. Meantime, as of Monday, April 27, there are 7,777 cases of COVID-19 in the Philippines with 511 deaths and 932 recoveries. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern on Monday claims the country won against the spread of the coronavirus. The country begins a phased exit from lockdown with no widespread undetected community transmission. Meantime, Europe's worst hit countries, Italy, Spain, France, and Britain, all report drops in daily fatality rates Sunday, April 26, a sign the peak of the week's long crisis may have passed. In a similar move, Shanghai and Beijing and China announced that school will resume Monday, April 27, but students must have their temperatures checked at school gates and show green health codes on the app that calculates a person's infection risk. Beijing also bans uncivilized behavior, such as not covering the mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing. Fines for littering, spitting, and defecation in public were also increased to a maximum of 200 yuan or $28. Meantime, the World Health Organization warns there is no evidence that people who test positive for coronavirus are immunized and protected against reinfection. This comes as some governments pitch the idea of issuing documents attesting to the immunity of people on the basis of serological tests revealing the presence of antibodies in the blood. 
North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is alive and well. A top security advisor to South Korean President Moon Jae-in confirms this, adding, Kim had been staying in resort town Wonsan since April 13. Suspicions on Kim's health grew since his absence from the April 15 celebrations for the birthday of his grandfather and North Korea founder Kim Il-sung. It is the most important day in the country's political calendar. Kim has not made a public appearance since April 11. CNN earlier reported Washington was monitoring intelligence that Kim was in grave danger after undergoing surgery. But United States President Donald Trump rejected reports that Kim is sick, but also declined to say when he was last in touch with a North Korean leader. Mm-hmm.